Hi, my name is Josh from Blake with Investigative Training, bringing you a camcorder review. Today we're pitting the Panasonic against the Canon, both HD models. Here is the Canon at 60x. Take a look at the breakup because it's well into digital zoom and take a look at the stability. I'm doing this from a standing position, which makes it a little bit difficult to hold absolutely steady, but that's a long distance. Here's the Panasonic, same zoom, same telephoto at 60x. Take a look at the coloring, the breakup, the sharpness of the edges, and the stability. Here are both cameras together. This just lets you know the Canon has the ability to turn the sound all the way off. The Panasonic only minus 30 decibels. Here is the Panasonic at the top we just looked at with its little brother, the standard definition panty at the bottom with 78x zoom. Could not get time and date on the standard definition, by the way. Um, 35x zoom with the Canon Vixia. Looks a little sharper here. Not as much breakup. So if you're doing jobs that require an external microphone, the Canon has a port for an external microphone. Here's the Panasonic. Such as recorded, somebody maybe recorded statements, depositions. If you want an all-around camera, the Canon has more features, but we're comparing this for surveillance. And here are the two at 35x. Here's the Canon at 18x zoom. Both of these cameras have extra powered stabilizers. Canon is a little bit more dramatic locking on. The Panasonic, I don't notice that much of a difference. Here's the Panasonic in a very, very dark corner of the building. As you can see, it breaks up a bit and it has a hard time maintaining focus. Other reviews that I've read has the Panasonic exceptionally uh, good low light when compared to other camcorders in this class. And when using it for surveillance, obviously you want the sound all the way off. And towards the end of this, I'll show, have a demonstration of the sound. Um, I know some people go into the camera and put switches on, and uh, other people aren't comfortable with that. So that's another thing to consider when comparing these two camcorders. Here is the Canon, same situation, same light. I'm cupping my hand around the lens, and that's what the shaking is, to try to keep the light out. The lens is not as recessed as the Panasonic's and is picking up the lights. Here's the sound regular for the Panasonic. And here's with the minus 30 decibel and the AGC turned off both. All right, there you have it, folks. Compare the two camcorders for yourself. And um, obviously they have their strengths and weaknesses. No one camcorder it does not have uh, its weakness. So just have to add them up and see if it's something for you. Canon versus Panasonic. I'm Johnston Blakely with Investigative Training.